What motivates Lenny? All the adversity he goes through in his life. His parents both are deceased. He's gonna lower his shoulder. He's gonna outrun you. He's one of the hardest working people I know. My name is Lenny. I play running back in strong safety. I was born in Haiti. A lot of violence. I knew that like you could be here one day, the next day, like you might not. It's like I became directed towards this football and I was really like just focused on that because I felt like that was my escape. Yeah, you go hard, you go hard. I mean, that's like my guy, like, like, kind of like my brother. You would think he would be cocky or full of himself, not at all. Off the field, he's a, he's a jokester. He's a clown, like, always making jokes. Oh, he think he a rapper off the, off the Yo, field. Yo, yo. What are you talking about, dude? He doesn't know the heat that comes out. He wants to be a professional football player. That's what he wants. My film this year is about to be crazy. All right, stay tuned, stay tuned. I'm slowly taking over, really slow, but I'm getting to it. Up, so it's like 6.45 and I'm just about to like get ready to get out and like work out so I can get the day started. When me and my little brother is kind of like, I don't want to say pad, that's weird, but like a little area. Yeah, so this is just like living room type situation we just have. That's my little brother. He's faking right now. He's not really sleeping. So. We live in East Orange. It's kind of quiet. I've been down here for like four years now. To lose your parents at 10 is like, it's terrible for like a kid to go through that. I got left Haiti because I really didn't have like a reason to be there anymore. Like, like I came here like with my parents already and they went back just to like just visit and then they never got the chance to come back. So like, I don't really feel like I have a reason to go back there. Yeah, it's usually what I do every morning before I leave. Two scoops of protein. I usually don't have time to eat breakfast. Have a dose of that, then I'll be able to like sustain my energy throughout the workout. I hate getting up in the morning. I just gotta do it though. Then I usually get ready to go back to Brooklyn. I'm barely like down here in Jersey anyway, so like I just come here to sleep and I leave. It's not. Mm -hmm. Far from a place where the people go see the opera, knocking on this door, you answer. I'm about to head to the park to get the morning workout out the way, then head to Brooklyn to just chill for a little bit, then got practice later. I started playing football after my parents passed. I was 9 to 10 when I first lost him. It was harsh, but it is what it is now. So I usually pray the small things like, oh yeah, I love you, and I really want you guys to like, like just watch over me. That's really it. They would have probably thought it was dangerous because of all the hitting. Even with all this success, like, like just so far, I still think they would have really still been scared. <laughs> Like, being on my own for a lot of stuff doesn't really impact me in a sense. Like, I work hard because, like, that's something I, like, that's already embedded in me and I, that's something I just do. It's not like I'm really, like, super, like, focused on, like, what was my life. It's like, no, nah, it's not me. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. Up, 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 come on, don't stop, slow down, come on, come on, to the pole, let's go, come on, drop through, drop through, then we gonna stay low, dig, 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 come on, don't stop, we'll get lazy, come on, nice. My name is Randolph, first of all, Randolph Simmons. I've been training athletes for, it's gonna be a year in August. I've been working with a lot of college athletes. The difference between Lammy is that he, he don't complain at all. He didn't complain not once, he's driving, every exercise he's going fully through, which actually makes him better, he's not cheating himself, so that's perfect. That's the thing I look for. Stay low. Come on. All the way to the cone next time. Good. Let's go. Keep that butt down. He's one of my top, top athletes that I ever trained. Um, a lot of people come out of shape. He came in like tip-top shape, which is kind of crazy for me to see. Um, 
and then like his endurance is really nice. Like, um, like I said before, he's just going through every exercise, exploding, doing his tip top thing at each one. So I'll just hear him complain. My motto is no excuses. That's my whole motto. So once you start complaining and everything, that's when you get extra set. You just drop through the cones, all right? Stay low. Dig, 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 come on, come on, dig. Come on, come on, come on, drop through, drop through, drop through, good. Uh, for this drill, I just want him to stay low, make sure he drives, quick feet. Um, don't try to arch his back as soon as he gets tired. I seen that through the first one. As soon as he got tired, he started doing this. We want to drive through, drive through the finish line. Nice! The biggest thing I, I try to teach everybody is get mentally strong. You put it in your head like, I could do another one. You could do two, three more after that. It's, it's really all mental. We're going to cool down, good work. My parents. They instilled their work ethic in me. I've like just always been that like this big kid that could do a lot of things, so I never really pushed myself. But now, like seeing that if I put in this amount of work, I could be here. So imagine if I boost that up times ten, I could be somewhere I can't even imagine right now. Our commute is about an hour and 45 minutes on a good day. I actually hate it, <laughs> but it's something I got to do, so. I got my first offer from Michigan last year. Like, I was, like, just pulled out of class while I was, like, just taking a math test, and then my head coach was like, oh, Coach Harbaugh is here. Like, I had to finish, but he was like, oh, you could like just finish like right after it won't be like be long. So I'm guessing he knew what was going to happen. And now like as soon as I like just walked in the office, coach, I was like, oh, this is him, right? Yeah, I could already see it. I'm, like, what's going on, coach? Like I shook his hand, and he was like, oh yeah, like we're going to offer you your first like scholarship. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> Being a football player in Brooklyn is lit. But like the stereotype like outside of like New York City as a whole is that New York is a basketball like, area. So a lot of people don't really have respect for New York football. Personally, I'm not from New York, so I don't really take offense to it. But now I'm starting to because I've been playing a lot of high school football in New York. I'm trying to change that whole stereotype that New York is just basketball. We're gonna make this lift. Hello. My name is Chadi Bryant. I'm like um, uh, Lamley's guardian slash aunt slash mother. His parents both are uh, deceased. And he came to this country, I believe, with a family friend. So the first time I met Lamy, he was very quiet. Uh, but prior to that, we were asked about him potentially coming to stay with us. So he came to the house and I'm like, he doesn't talk. <laughs> so I don't know how this is gonna work out, but um, I know I ride him a lot. And so like, in, like on top of these boxes, I have some of the recruiting mail I didn't throw out. South Carolina, Clemson, Boston College, Clemson, Rutgers. This is the opening, like a Nike camp I got invited to. More Rutgers, the Army National Combine. With like just recruiting mail, like at a certain point, I was able to fill up the bathtub. What I'm most excited about would be like playing on Saturday nights on TV. Thousands of fans screaming, and just like it's on top. Playing the game. That's what I'm like really excited about. I need to get there. To get there, I just feel like I really just gotta keep working. I'm putting in work now, but. Never enough. Go. Arms straight, completely straight, completely straight. Sprint. 
Coach Rick. I'm the sports performance coordinator for Prototype. So my job is um, most uh, strength and conditioning and speed development. This is, this is, Prototype is definitely like we have Division One standards. So when you come here to this program, you know, you come to get better at a high elite level or you just don't, you wash out. That's point blank. Lammy, he embraces that running back position. Like he looks for contact, but also great eyes, great hips, great feet. You know, he does the things a running back is supposed to do. So. I told Lammy point blank, I need 1,800 yards out of you this year. Um, yeah, he, he has the potential to really do some damage this year, this, this, uh, at the running back position, so. 24 is the lead, 24 is the lead, 24 is the lead. We do that every day. Even if we got like a hard left, we're still running like 12 laps. Regardless, if you feel like you have the potential, they're gonna push you regardless. And it's gonna hurt. I was probably the youngest on the team, but like physically, I was always the strongest. Like I can like impin my will on everybody and we can go from there. Lemmy's like on the field. It's an attitude. Like I love his attitude. Like he's he he always he wants to win. He wants to compete. You can tell him by when you watch him play. He, he plays the game angry. He, when he's running the ball, he doesn't shy away from contact. He finishes his runs. He's always leaning the front, forward, forward. So he doesn't avoid the hit. He likes to deliver the blow, which is always great. If you got a bunch of nice guys. They finish last. But if you got somebody who's a dog who wants to be angry and just play the game aggressive, that that turns the attitude of the team and the culture. Come on, no walking. Yes, the moment I felt like I could be good in football, I don't really think like I've had that moment yet. Like I just like I just play for fun. In life, I don't really know what I want to do yet. And I feel like if I like just continue to do what I have to do, everything is going to just take care of itself. I can see myself going back to Haiti, but I don't know when. I feel like there's still a lot of like bad karma in a sense still like just going on in the country and I would like to be able to like be the one to change that but we'll just see how things go. Let's go! Larry could play every sport. Yeah we on that football grind. If you want to see more videos like that check them out right here and also click subscribe. <laughs>